the first and foremost element is plan do element to check act element hi sir can you share your views about the pdca element very nice plan do check and act cycle which was originally introduced by dr shuvat as pd sa cycle plan do study and act cycle later on it was changed by dr deming as pd ca cycle plan do check and act cycle a very good way to operate control track and show results we will provide you the inputs in a totally different way to understand this pdca cycle nice friends the first and foremost element is plan planning for what planning for three important parameters number one planning for the goals or objectives or targets first the team or the person or the management member should think about the targets goals what is to be achieved second is about processes plan for your processes plan for your procedures goals objectives targets and what is to be achieved to be planned first then into processes systems procedures to be planned the third one is ignored by most of the organizations which is equally important any guess yes it is planning for the resources the resources may be anything may be money or material or, or manpower or machinery many things so we have to first meticulously plan for three important elements so the element plan itself is divided into three categories right the next element is do element doing of what follow the processes already planned we decided certain set of processes systems procedures execute them towards what towards the goals set already the objective set already the results to be achieved we already set towards that we have to focus all our processes procedures systems steps implementation phase taking into the resources we may use the resources now resources are also equally planned so all the planned resources whichever is essential now are being used for each step there could be different resources needed so plan the do is for execution implementation nice nice friends planned then executed the third is to check check what checking of two important aspects number 1 process number 2 results out of that particular process process and results may be monitored or may be measured generally processes to be monitored results to be measured can you measure the process also yes that is an excellent practice if you are able to measure the processes also that will be wonderful or at least monitor the processes but we must measure the results monitoring and measuring together they form they fall into the check element checking of the processes and the corresponding results the fourth element is act act element many people wrongly understand this as implementation phase implementation has already been completed as a part of do element now into act element 
the result of checked element will become the inputs for act element acting means what act is gap analysis analyze the gap assume that i planned for 100 units to be produced for the day instead of 100 units i am able to produce only 90 units now the gap is understood during the checked element i checked it is only 90 not 100 the 10 gap to be analyzed how that has to be done as a part of act element go for correction and kappa capa corrective action and preventive action go for standardization but let us remember one thing carefully this pdca is a cycle not in a linear scale means end of act again p plan element should come how the gap 10 numbers to be added in the next day's plan tomorrow i am supposed to produce 100 numbers i planned for 100 numbers originally now 10 numbers are supposed to be added for the next day i must plan for not 100 110 110 units so that way it becomes a good cycle also pdca cycle goes like this will be very very useful not only for the official purpose but also for the personal purpose good let us practice pdca cycle in a wonderful way dear friends more we are focusing into plan element the less will be the pain in terms of act act element element we have to reduce the act element. wonderful all the best